the hand stall, the arm stall, the elbow stall, and the reverse forearm stall. These are the four stalling moves that we're gonna be learning today, so stick around, don't go away. The concept to learn any stall move is exactly the same. First of all, you wanna put the bottle or the object in the place where you wanna catch it. So let's talk, talk about the back of the hand. For me, I like to put it on my knuckles, near my thumb, so I use my thumb as a kind of guide when the bottle is on the back of my hand. And first, I learn to balance that object on my hand like this, so I can get used to having that bottle on the back of my hand. Second thing you need to get is the catch, okay? And that is basically dropping the bottle or the object onto the place where you're gonna catch it. And you just start with a small drop or small throw with the other hand. And as you can see, I'm cushioning the catch. I'm allowing my hand to go down to cushion that catch. If I just allow the bottle to drop on my hand like this, it's gonna hurt. It's like dropping a bottle on your hand like this. Now, I do have a practice bottle here, and if you wanna get your hands on one of these practice bottles, there is a link in the description where you can get one of these from my website. We do ship worldwide. This one is a rubbery bottle, so it doesn't hurt so much as a glass bottle when you're, for when you're practicing. So once you've got the balance, and then you've got the catch, then the throw, is the next part. So you're gonna practice throwing up flat, no spin, no spinning, no movement. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw up, I'm gonna put my hand underneath, and then my brain is gonna trigger in the catch, and then finally the balance. So throw, catch, balance. Then once you can do that one, then you can move on to different throws and start trying to catch the bottle from different throws. As I said, the concept is the same if you're catching it on your arm. So you find the position on your arm and you start to balance and, and, and see what it feels like to balance that bottle on your arm like this. Then you start to drop it into place. You start to realize that catch. Then we figure out the throw and everything together. Now when it comes to the elbow stall, now we're moving on to slightly different territory. Whereas on your arm, you almost had a flat surface to catch the bottle. On your elbow, you've got to find the comfortable position. Now, you don't want to tense your elbow, you don't want to tense your elbow like this, because then you create this little bump, this little bouncy castle on your elbow. So when you drop the bottle, you see it does this little bouncing motion. So you want to try and relax your elbow a little bit with a little bit of sponginess there. And that is where you wanna place the bottle. So you find what I call on your elbow, the table. Now I'm holding my elbow in kind of a, a right angle. You find that table. Now once you've got the table, once you know your spot, I know my spot very, very well, you don't have to look at the bottle. You just know micro movements with your elbow, that bottle is gonna stay exactly where it is. Now when, when it comes to catching, I do want to bend my arm ever so slightly. I want to bend, and as I catch the bottle, I'm then going to open up my arm slightly. So I bend, and I bend so I create the cushion above my bone to catch the bottle, and then once I find the position, you can see I kind of jump the bottle to the table position so it's nice and solid on my elbow. Then the same thing as before, the throw, this time we need to get it nice and high, whereas with the hand it needs to be here, with the arm it's pretty much the same, with the elbow it needs to be up high. When I'm doing the throw, I want it to come up, stick my elbow underneath, then I balance, find my table, my comfortable position, and I'm done. Then finally, the reverse forearm. This one is a lot more trickier for different people. I like to hold my hand like this, and then back. And this is just for when I'm stalling or balancing or catching the bottle. And I find my, my spot and, and then I start to figure out my balance. It's not down here, it's up here. Now some people like to have their hand like this and then back as far back so they're in this position and balance it there. Now this is the position if you want to learn to then 
do bumps because what you're doing, you're, pre you're presenting the muscle to bump on. If you're doing it in this position that I said a minute ago, you're hitting bone. When I come up, this is where I stall it. But if I want to bump, then I've got my hand in this position to ensure that the muscle is sticking up, ready for the bump in action. So there we go, that is how you perform the stall move, the hand stall, the arm stall, the elbow stall, and the reverse forearm stall. The four most used stall, balance, or stop movements that you'll find in flare bartending. Now, if you wanted to get some personal advice from me, uh, like these legends can over on my Patreon platform, then you need to sign up to my Patreon account and you're able to drop me a message and ask for any personal one-to-one -one advice on any moves that you may be getting stuck with. But I wanna say a huge thank you to all you guys and girls who are supporting me on the Patreon platform. I really do appreciate all of your continued support. It's fantastic to know the community that we're building there together and getting to know you guys is super awesome. So thank you so much indeed for all of your continued support, all of your efforts, and all of your input into the platform. Anyway, that is it. That is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you.